Uh, we got Kirk Minahan on the line here now. Uh, what's up, Kirk? How we doing? What's up, Kevin? How you doing? I'm good. I'm flying solo today. All of my other co-hosts bounced, and I didn't even realize it. Did you often do any uh, any solo work, or were you always with a partner? I did some when I started on the weekends like 10 years ago, and I wasn't – some people can do it, and I was always – terrible at that you know that pause that they do like, yes when they're talking and they sort of do like the, you know and you would do like and for the mets the question is <laughs> what will they do about the rotation like yeah. and I, and my and my pauses would sometimes be like 15 in the program to be like you just pause for like 15 seconds like <laughs> people are in their cars you know I'm like, yeah, oh, yeah that's right i could <laughs> they I, think I could that never, you think I that like the, the feed dropped out. yeah it's like they like you've lost <laughs> the channel or something but, but if you think about, like, so obviously when you were Jared or, or, or Feiderberg or, or Casey, you're having a conversation. When you're by yeah. yourself, like, it's actually, in, like, technically insanity. Yes, we're just rambling. You're just talking, you're just rambling to yourself. Like, mm -hmm. I would always use these fill-in weekend producers and essentially make them my co-hosts. These right. guys were, like, never talked at all. They were like, uh, I, I don't know. Like, I was, <laughs> To answer, one way of your answer, I was terrible, awful, terrible at it. Absolutely terrible. I, I feel like that's also why people like Francesa and, and I guess Cal, Cowherd and the guys who do it uh, have the, like, arrogance persona because it's like they are just – it's just a one-man opinion. There's never anybody to check them. There's never one, anyone to prove them wrong. It's just like I'm going to say whatever I want. Even if it's wrong, it doesn't fucking matter because I'm the only one here. Yeah, there's a skill. And I guess, like, they're not my favorite talk show host, but, like, even the guy like Rome, who I don't know much he's for, like, just kind of does it, I guess, yeah. right? And just rambles on and on. It and is, on yeah. I, I don't know and if it's I, the I, best I, skill, but it's a skill, that's for certain. I think it's got to be it's got to be kind of lonely too. Like are you you feel lonely in there? Are you okay? Are you, uh, are you enjoying I, it? Would you would you like to do it like once every 2 weeks? I was thinking or? that. I I do think um because I I do take I'm a, I'm a more of a radio nerd and I do take it a little more seriously than I think some of the other hosts here. I'd like to challenge myself and try to like do it in a way that's not just the ramblings of a crazy person. I'd like to see if I could do a engaging show solo. So maybe uh, every now and then. I'm using my man Zah here, like you said, as my co-host for today. But overall, hey, I, I think go. it's you know better to, to converse and conversate. But So that's why I wanted to have you on because uh, we got we got some more Minahan drama to talk about. We we got another another we, case on our hands here. We do. We do. <laughs> we do. You know, before we get to that, though, like, if you were going to ask me what I was doing when you called, yeah, you checked in. This is so pretentious. I'm, I'm almost embarrassed to say this. I was actually working on my novel. Oh, yes, yeah. What's the what yeah. is it? I is it the I Kirk Minahan I, I, story? I, no, 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 no. It's something kind of different. But I was actually like sort of outlining and working on a character biography, and I'm like, what a fucking like. If I if I if anybody <laughs> walked in to be like. There's, there's, I can't think of a more humiliating like thing than somebody walking in and catching me doing that. Honestly, <laughs> what? So can you give me like a tease or a taste of what what we're doing here? What is the outline I'll of the personality? It's, it's set. It's set in the early '80s music scene. Ooh, so you're going like full yeah. departure from everything here. Oh, you're, yeah. uh, this totally, is just yeah, completely interesting. I'll even say this. I will. I will not. I will not tell you this. I actually have a pen name too. I actually have a fucking. Pen. I know it's it's bad. Now it's that bad. is it's the bad. most pretentious thing I've ever heard because you have to sit around <laughs> so, and think so of something that's too. creative but cool, but no one's gonna know all this bullshit that matters to you I and no one else gives a fuck. Nobody. No, this book will never be. Seen. First of all, it'll never be finished. No one will ever read it. And I spent. I'm gonna say in total in the last month. 10 hours think about this pen name like way more than the actual book itself like it's, it's i so, love it it's, it's just it's no it's no it's it's uh, this will be this book will blow up once you're dead that's how these things work you're gonna write a that's, shitty book yeah, that nobody right. cares and as soon as you're dead right. then everyone will buy it yeah. kirk so minahan the novelist way, yeah. unbelievable all right well, so yeah. the latest drama uh, mm -hmm. y you catch me up to speed because I know very little about the other dude uh, who's at the center of this. Although I do know, you know, he seems like kind of an asshole. I guess uh, I know you've had some talks with Dave. I know that you. I mean, you tweeted last night. My days at Barstool are basically over. So I feel like I don't know if that's changed in the last uh, 12, 18 hours, whatever. Do you still think you're going to be here? The whole nine. Fill us in on the latest minute, mini show, mini fan drama. Well, I don't know. So I'm actually reached out to you because you know. Dave, way, way, way more than I do. So this happened with this guy Albright, who hates Barstool, whatever, and made a bunch of claims in the past, you know, uh, that he's, you know, he's, he's, he did this, he did that in the military. He did serve in the military. He claimed he had three different tours. He served in Afghanistan. He had a whole bunch of other things. He said he played college football at the University of Arkansas. Nobody could prove that. He said that he, uh, 
His dad played the PGA Tour. He couldn't prove that. He was a boxing champion in the Army. That couldn't be proven. Uh, Harvard Law School couldn't be proven. So oh, wow. our guys started digging. Well, I, our guys started digging, and I have people, you know, who do this. And they started digging in and thought that some things were inconsistent. My producer, Steve Robinson, uh, started digging as well. And uh, without making it public, we didn't do that. He sent Albright a bunch of questions to see if it was, you know, is, is this up to speed? Uh, Albright flipped out. He's, he is crazy. I mean, he fucking hates us, hates bars or whatever. Posted those first couple of questions on Twitter, uh, and then it was off to the races. And then, you know, again, Steve, I thought, like, to his credit, was actually about as cautious as you could be. Did not publish it, put it in draft on the blogs, did not publish it, sent it over to Mikey and the K Marco and all that stuff, and we were just waiting. In fact, we were waiting for this guy to give his answers. We weren't going to talk about it, and if this guy had said, hey, it checks out, we would have said, okay, it checks out. No, yeah, so wait, wait, that's my question. When when he saves a draft, what is the... What's the goal here? Just like um, Ben Albright or whatever his name is, is an asshole? Is it just like we're exposing a fraud? Well, here's the thing, Kevin. So he, you know, called, he questioned Barcelona's character, questioned their Got moral. It. Okay. We'd go at people on, we'd go at people on people on Twitter and say, oh, you think I'm full? Because other people made these claims. You think I'm full? Go check it out. Go do it. Find out. So uh, they did that. Okay. So he, um, he kind of so, issued this challenge in a way, maybe not directly, yeah. but indirectly, and they went and did oh. it. Okay. Yeah, so they went and did it, and we again we didn't do anything. We were waiting, and and uh, so he comes out, and uh, Chaps is all pissed off about it, uh, toward us, toward Steve, and toward the show. And Portnoy is texting me, being like, "What the fuck's going on with Robinson?" So I called Portnoy. We had the conversation. And he's like, "I want to fire this guy," and I'm like, "Well, I think that's a mistake. I think you know," and he said, "This is worse than the Francis situation," um, and I said, "Well, I said I don't agree, Francis." And by the way, I don't think Francis should have been fired. Right. I said that on my show, I had him on. So I, I don't think you shouldn't fire, but we'll, we'll, we'll play that game out. The argument was that Francis did this thing about this girl when she, the day she died, da, da, da. I said, this is, this is the opposite of that. Like, you know, it, Francis posted, we did just the opposite. We waited. We were waiting for comment from him. We didn't post anything. You're mad. You want to fire Steve over something that technically doesn't exist because it hasn't been made public. Mm-hmm. His argument was when you, when, you, when you get into battle with a guy like that, he's going to make everything public. It's already public. Mm-hmm. So he was pissed. I don't know. That was at 3 o'clock yesterday. Um, I haven't heard from him since. I know he's got stuff going on. And, you, and your episode him. went up, right? It's up. Yeah. We talked about the whole thing. Yeah. So, I mean, I, don't, I asked you, like, I don't know if this is the kind of thing where Dave is like pissed off and is going to freak out tomorrow and fire Steve. And I don't know if it's the kind of thing where it happened and he, after a couple hours, he's like, Oh shit, maybe, you know, not oh shit, but I overreacted and yeah, whatever. I, I, I don't know. I legitimately don't know. I, I mean, I think the, the X factor here is that we're talking military. We're talking troops that gets very touchy, Absolutely. gets people riled up. You know, it's not like he's lying. Yeah. If it was just like the, I played football thing, whatever. I think when, uh, and I certainly think the way chaps reacted and responded, it makes it sound like, you know, it's more of a accusation, let's say, um, and yeah, I think that's fair too. And, and sorry, no, but I talked to Chaps, and I was surprised talking to him because, oh, like I, you know, as I said to him yesterday, I could tell the minute I called, like I said, Dave, let me call Chaps. He gave me his number. I called him. I was like, this guy doesn't want to fucking talk to me. He's pissed at me. But that's, you know, I'm, that happens to me every day. So I'm talking to him, and he's, uh, and he's like, I don't care if he exaggerated his military record or not. Not really. He's like, I don't think it's your job to find that out. So I was surprised to hear that, but I thought it was an interesting perspective. And well, and so know, it, it was interesting to me. That's what I had said to you uh, over text. Is like, I don't think I knew, and I don't think Dave knew that you you kind of do this. Like this is this is what you're interested right. in, basically, like doing a little bit more of like investigative journalism. Let's call it like if you if you think about barstool, that's not what we do. We just kind of react to stories. You know, the dead spins of the world are the ones who are always like digging and and lurking and trying to get you, got you with this and that. And right. and I don't I, I didn't expect that because I didn't know that you do that sort of thing. And now if that's what you do, and that's you know we we brought you on, and you're like, bro, this is this is my style, this is my content. Well, I can get that. Kind of, but I do think there is yeah. an X factor, and I said this to you as well. Like you you probably do have every right to question somebody. You know, you said everybody has the liberty to do that. And yes, maybe like legally or constitutionally or morally speaking, you do. But I think with Barstool. When we do have this reputation with people like him, and now we give him the ammo, whether he's right or wrong, he can frame this in a way now that just makes us look bad. And all for what? What's the real benefit here if we show that Ben Albright is is a fucking liar about his college? Right. You know, it's just like, who right. cares? You know, well, That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's Dave's point yesterday, and I suppose I agree with that. But I look at it, and you know, 
like you said, that's sort of a history of doing this. There's a writer, Kevin Cullen, at the Boston Globe. You guys can look it up. You can mm-hmm. Google that. Uh, he lied about being at the marathon bombings, and he went after our show, so we looked it up. And, and my thing is, as I said today in the podcast, like I don't think Dave was aware of that uh, when I came in, and I don't think I was quite aware that Dave wasn't going to be into that aspect of it when I came in. So I think we both didn't really know the situation. Um, but like, I don't think... Like, as much as, you know, I'm glad that Dave brought me in, I'm enjoying it. Like, I don't think Dave even really knew what I did. He's no, just like, okay, I, you seem to have a following, bring I mean, him in. Like, which, yes. Which is okay, but, yeah. I, but like, I, I think, and I think, you know, I think if that's something that, that is not cool with him, like, that's something that we can discuss and further on down the line and see where it's at. But I just, I was surprised that the reaction to something that didn't actually happen. Happen yet, yeah. Like, but I, but I guess I mean? that's... Like, 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 it, 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 like it did though. As soon as that guy tweeted it, it did. Now Correct. and now, in Correct. a way, you almost Correct. gave him. It, it's a tough spot, and this is probably why we don't do much of it. Because in the one sense, you want to do the proper channels, you want to like do it the right way. But by sending that email and then giving him the ammo, he now controls how this story goes out there, and right. it's just like well. And then again, it goes back to like for what? It's like you're a very entertaining dude, and I think you're very compelling, and like that's why people want to listen to you. Whether this who fucking cares about this guy. Yeah, but uh, yes, I guess, but that's sort of not the way we've done it in the past. But I mean, right. that's what Dave said, and that's what Chap said. That's what, I mean. So from your from your end, I get it, but I also get like it's not a traditional journalistic play. So the idea that hey, we have to reach out to this guy first and check in. Well, he's immediately going to you know he's immediately going to tweet this out and mm-hmm. send it. And totally, mm-hmm. as your point is it doesn't. And as I said today in the podcast, truth doesn't at that point truth doesn't even matter. Right. Like everything perception muddled, becomes reality. Muddied, every, yep. Yeah. But and I'd and also I, say, and I, and you know, like we also used to never really talk military issues at all. And then ZBT comes along and that's what they do. And on a, like a lighter note, we were never a golf company until foreplay came along. So like if, play, right. if the new side of this and, and you're going to do like the investigative side, I don't see why that should necessarily be a problem. I mean, maybe the, a problem in the sense that like the early going is going to be fucked up because people are not going to take it serious or they're going to try to spin it. But if that's what you want to do, I, I just also think that then Dave kind of has the right to be like, well, that is not how what we want to do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I, I said that to him yesterday. I'm like, of course, this is your your place. Or if you guys say, hey, this isn't what we do, well, then we can have a talk about that. You know, but I think it's an interesting. So I came in and I was like, I'm going to have a good time. I like it. a lot of people there. I am surprised uh, a couple months in that I keep walking to these minefields. But yet I'm always surprised this happens. Like, I don't feel like. I don't know, like, you know, you got Willie Colon who hates me. You got this thing. You got the thing with the activist Murchison a couple weeks ago. We're literally just trying to do a fucking show. Like, I, I yeah, am well, this is how I'm getting. As I, always, I'm in these situations. And I'm like, I don't, I'm just trying to do my fucking show, keep my head down, go home, and do it again the next day. I don't, I don't quite get it. Uh, well, I, I think I run into that on, like, a, a smaller scale. I think that actually comes from, like, a genuineness. It, it's almost counterintuitive because I think people probably assume – uh, Kirk Minahan just likes to stir the pot and he just likes to cause trouble wherever he goes and he's doing it on purpose when in reality it's like you actually just keep it very real you'd say your takes you give your opinions and I think it's off-putting to some people and it, it looks like you're finding drama all the time but that's only because a lot of people out there aren't very real a lot of people avoid the drama they actively you know bite their tongue they avoid things that might be controversial where you're just willing to let it fly it doesn't mean you seek it out it doesn't mean you're trying to do it it's just I think anybody who is as real as you are is going to always stumble into it because nobody else does it that way well i also say like so what i don't get and i said this to dave yesterday so you, you threatened to fire my producer steve robbins i'm like and i didn't i didn't obviously didn't agree with that i said why can't it just be that you go on your show the next time you're on and kick the shit out of steve and me if you want if you disagree with us and let chaps do that as well on his like why does it have to be why can't they just say this is where they're at and we all have a legitimate genuine disagreement that's the part that i don't that I missed in the whole thing. Like, I don't know why that can't be what it is. Yeah, well, I, I think, like, with the Francis situation, there was no... Well, that's... No, yeah, yeah, that's, there was no win, right? So it was like, you, you're just bringing bring us bad pr- uh, publicity. Whereas, I think right now, there's just a difference in opinion of, like, you think what you're doing is bringing value in the sense that you'd have this piece exposing this guy as a fraud. And Dave is just like, I don't care about that and I don't value that. But there is... There's, there's, that's just a difference of opinion, not necessarily a black and white, you shouldn't have done this because it's fucking terrible type of thing. Right. And I mean, at the end of the day, I'm just a novelist. You know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm just trying, my next one's going to be set in the 12th century Russia. I mean, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to tell my stories. That's all. <laughs> Do you, you know? I, I think we actually, I think Chaps can call in on Sirius. Do you want to talk to Chaps right now? 
Is he on right now? I think he's like dial. He's on now. He's not on the phone. He's in th- like in through the serious piping. Uh, oh, uh, Chaps, you yeah. There? I mean, if he want, yeah, we talked yesterday. If he wants to talk, sure. I get no. Chaps, you there? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, so I just wanted to hop on the line real quick. I heard what you were saying. I, I want to kind of like echo what Kevin's saying. I don't sure. think that there's anything inherently bad with saying, did you serve or did you do this thing? The, the thing about it that really pissed me off was that, one, it's the way that that is perceived for Barstool and what ZBT has done. Whenever you're under the Barstool umbrella and you ask that, you have to know that somebody – like Ben Albright, not necessarily even Ben, but anybody who doesn't like us is going to take that screenshot and that becomes the perception of what happens to a majority of folks. Because people aren't going to say like yesterday when we talked, Kirk, you were like, let me explain the full story. That's not the way the internet works. The internet doesn't go for the full story. They see what they see in the snapshot at first and then that's how people react from it. And that causes great damage to to the brand that I've built in ZBT. Well, yeah, and and I understand that. As I said to you yesterday, I understand that. But then what you're basically saying is whether it's whether where, where the truth is in your mind then is irrelevant. And I get that, and and I understand that. And I said that to you yesterday. But you know, uh, should should I or Kevin or anybody be thinking what is the zero blog thirty brand going to think about something if we personally think something is compelling and interesting? I, I'm I'm asking that legitimately. I mean, should should we should we all be thinking like that? I don't think that I think that there's certain areas where you have to be mindful about the the cause that the brand of how it are, I mean, the brand. Are you saying like, what, like the military there? Like I do think that the fact that we're talking military, we're talking troops, we're talking, uh, you know, like I said, if it was just like I I played uh, football in college and we could prove that wrong, I don't think anybody cares. I think why we're walking on eggshells and a little nervous here is because you're calling. You're, you're calling out a veteran, right? I mean, let's call it what it is. Is that, is that where it comes in, Chaps? Yeah, and it's very different. Like, if you stepped on somebody NFL toes, like, Jerry Thornton's not going to get pissed off about it because it's the NFL. Right. At the end of the game day, it's a game. This isn't a game that we're talking about. Whenever you're going – even – and the perception of – when you're asking those questions, the implied – end of the question is that these aren't these things aren't true and anybody who saw the screenshot of the email knows that like well, that's okay the, but what about this chaps? what if what if these guys are right what if this dude like is lying about some of his service i think if he's lying about his service like that's not something that needs to come up through barstool like that's not that's not what we do i don't understand where does that get you so at the end of the day if the kirkman Hen show uncovers that ben albright lied about all of his deployments at the end of the day who fucking cares well, I mean, I, I agree that that's not what we do here, but I'm, I think there might be people who care if there are people well, I, lying I, I, about I, I, military absolutely. service. Right, and I, and I said that to Chaps yesterday. I disagree with that. Obviously, he disagrees. I think people care about that stuff, but I also get where he's coming from, like I said to him yesterday. I totally get his perspective on it, which is different than mine. I think when it's somebody who has professionally trolled Barstool for years, has questioned their character, their morality, and by the way, on social media, has taunted people and said, check out my record, check out my past, well, I mean, I, I, to me, I don't know. I feel like that's in play. But again, I'm coming from a different perspective. Yeah, you know? I, I mean, I, I, I see both sides of like, I don't think this is what we do at Barstool. But I do think if you're ever going to, I would say that maybe someone who has rallied against us, called us into question, and also has made uh, like their service a very public issue, I think it's a little more fair game. I think if you just did this to a random veteran, you'd be a total asshole. Um Again, I just don't know if that's what we do, but like I said, we are always constantly evolving. So if like the Kirk Manhan show is maybe going to be more of like an investigative type of reporting, I think maybe the, it's going to, like I said, it's going to be a rough go for you because it's not, you know, you're, you're blazing that trail. But uh, I, I think there is a validity to it as long as you do it the right way. I think even in this case, though, the right way is going to be exposed and spun into something that makes us look like assholes. And the overall problem that I have, and we talked about this on Zero Block 30 on the first segment that's going to come out tomorrow, but the overall problem that I have is that it's this basic principle that when one person at Barstool speaks that everybody assumes that we all feel the same way. And I think that whenever that happens in the military realm, like the person that that affects or the brand that affects the most is by far zero block. Right, but but I think what we're doing right now is how that should be taken care of because we don't all speak for each other. I know that, you know, a yeah, lot of, yeah, a lot of mean, things... But people who are tied into the Barstool world are going to hear that. But it's, people who aren't, it's the snapshot of the appearance of what it is. And people could see zero block 30 is associated with Barstool. They're going to assume yeah, that but, if it's a military well, issue, well, it was us that did on, it. No, that's, I don't I mean, I, probably that's true because it clearly came from us. And I think that's 
that's on their that's their perception issue. I mean, if they think everybody thinks the same exact at Barso, I, first of all, I don't know if that's true or not. And secondly, things happen like yesterday. You went on social media pretty early and kind of got it going. You were angry. You went at our show like that, and we're doing this right now. That's all perfectly fine to me. Like it shows there's disagreement, but there can also be conversations. Yeah, about it, I right? actually I think mean, that- I think this is like the best thing in the world for content. I think you chaps should be able to be like fuck the Minahan show, and you should be of able course. to say like I, I want to. I, yeah. I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah. I think this yeah, is actually I don't, I don't mind that at all. great in a way. Like as long as you know nobody and ends I, up. I want to say something harmed, else but- too about the whole Albright thing because people are saying that I'm like an Albright defender. I don't give a fuck about that dude in reality. Like I like in. People who – it has nothing to do with that. It's the perception of the military and how we cover the military at Barstool that's important to me. That's the only thing – that's the only issue I have is the perception about ZBT that we would support that and like asking a veteran for um, – or having the tinge of saying that what you're saying about your service isn't true. That's not who we are. 